Imagine raising a smart and active child, then for no apparent reason their body just starts to break down. Things we take for granted like walking and talking become exhaustive tasks. Eventually they'll need a wheelchair to get around and have to painstakingly pronunciate each and every word as it comes out of their mouth. In time, their mind becomes trapped in a body that no longer works. This is what happens every day in the lives of people with Friedrich's ataxia, or FA, a genetic disease in which one in every hundred people are carriers. And as of today, there is no cure. People with FA have a gene mutation that limits the production of frataxin, a protein vital to the function of mitochondria. Similar to how spark plugs power an engine, mitochondria generate the energy critical to all cells. But like a faulty power supply, they lose their spark of energy. This causes the cells to die and the nerves and muscles that they make up begin to waste away. This is what happens to children like Gavin, diagnosed with FA when his parents noticed that he'd always look down at his feet so that he wouldn't trip and fall. The news hit the family hard, but Gavin's own determination inspired them to fight for their amazing little boy. It's a typical school day, like most families with an afternoon snack, some homework, and of course, playtime. On the surface, Gavin seems like a happy little boy, but this child's life has been filled with new challenges. Diagnosed with FA three years ago, his coordination and balance have gotten progressively worse, making it hard for him to walk around and impossible for him to play sports like other eight-year-old boys. We started noticing signs when Gavin was about three at preschool and he was just a little different than the other kids, falling a little bit more, um, running a little different. So we started going to specialists and trying to find out. They did MRIs and CAT scans and everything to try and figure out what exactly it was. We found out nine weeks later that it was Friedrich's ataxia, which is a neuromuscular, debilitating, horrible, sad disease. Mom's day is built around activities to keep Gavin's legs strong, like riding his trike and therapeutic swimming lessons. Our biggest fear as parents is that one day Gavin's going to wake up and maybe not be able to walk. And that's not going to be okay. There is hope. Over the last decade, organizations like the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance, or FARA, have raised public awareness while supporting critical research. Doctors and scientists around the world are working together to bring back the spark so that everyone can live a full and active life.